Welcome back everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, and we just got the update. And it did include the new heroes. So I wanted to take a first look similar to how I did with Elena and Jonathan, where I just go through the basics of these heroes and what I think is going to happen with both of them. I will do a full deep dive breakdown into each one of them in separate videos but i feel like the first time i did the first look went over fairly well so without further ado let's take a look at the two new heroes eddie and robert now eddie my guess was correct he is built for siege i haven't taken a look to see uh, his skills to see if He's actually going to be well built for Siege. But it's weird that I see Siege and Defense. Honestly, this is three fairly solid trees. So let's get into it. First skill deals damage to target 11300. A little, a little underwhelming, but I like that he gets a shield. 1000 Rage, 113 damage and a 2500 shield 2500 is going to block a couple of basic attacks but it's not going to really take the brunt of any skill damage but he comes with his own damage so i guess that's the trade-off in total he does better than ragoro but he's trading his defense for offense i guess that's that is what i did ask for Increases infantry squad defense by up to 30%, and when your remaining squad size is less than 30%, increases counter damage by 15%. Well, uh, the squad size less than 30% still comes into effect during siege and garrison uh, situations where your troop size is less than 30%, and increasing counter damage is something infantry commanders do, but a little underwhelming here as well. I mean, I like the 30%. Counter damage is always nice, but not a lot here. When leading only infantry squads, increases counter damage by 44%. Okay, I see where this is going now. It's as if the game took footage of people uh, during Pompeii or during Island running infantry rallies and seeing what we laughed at and what we were kind of joking about and counter damage was it. If you've seen any of my Pompeii videos, you've seen me, Z, Shadow run infantry rallies at uh, helipads or HQs just to absorb the amount of people trying to kill those rallies and be insanely damaged by them because while it doesn't hurt the helipad that much it does hurt the people trying to attack it okay increases infantry squad hp by 30 percent okay now we're talking between the 30 percent infantry squad defense and the 30 percent infantry squad hp he has the highest infantry buff um Second to a do it. Because that's a 60% buff. It's split between two skills, but it's there. And an actual siege skill. During sieges, basic attacks have a 20% chance to reduce the enemy squad's HP by 25%. This effect can be triggered at most once every 6 seconds. Honestly, that's a bit, quite a bit better than Jonathan's skill of reducing HP only on active. Uh, uh, active skill, I like it. Reducing HP does increase the amount of uh, damage you're able to do by a significant amount. I am trying to determine if there's a correlation between HP and killed troops versus heavily wounded. Um, still working on that. But it is... HP is equivalent to defense at, and the fact that reducing it is a pretty solid uh, increase to the amount of damage that you're going to do. 
And then we've got when the shield is broken or disappears, reduces the HP of... Oh, boy. I don't like it. It's the... Sorry about that. I don't like that it's the shield. If it's a shield, that would make him an interesting choice on the field with Regoro. But if it's just his shield, we can still keep him with uh, other commanders. I do like putting a dut with him in this case. So basically... As soon as the shield is broken, which, let's be honest, a 2500 shield isn't going to last long against most enemies. When the shield is broken or disappears, because that does mean he doesn't have to lose the 2500, it can just go away. Reduces the HP of up to three nearby enemy squads by 20% for two seconds. That is a massive boost to his on-field and rally capabilities. So they did make a solid Siege Commander, but I don't see him being locked into it either. This is going to give him a lot of abilities that he can use on the field. Having a high damage and a shield factor to reduce... Um, HP against enemies, yeah, he could also be a interesting choice for a garrison commander. He's not going to be the best, but it'll be an interesting choice. Because you could very, very easily run his talents in infantry and defense and have a solid garrison commander. Likely he's going to end up being secondary to a, to a better garrison commander, but let's, before I get sucked into him, let's move on. Robert. Gross. Uh, you may have heard me talk about the general skill tree before. Just gross. He's got skills. Well, he's playing a guitar. I hope he's got skills. Let's see. Now, before I say, I mentioned that he was likely going to be a support character, like a bard from D&D, but let's see how well that works out. Okay, 12.5 in damage and a 25% reduction to HP. Okay. Are they planning on stacking these two together? I hope not. A dirt still needs a pair. In increases infantry squad attack by 20%, and 5.5% of the damage absorbed by the shield will be deflected and dealt to the enemy. So he's going to be paired with a shield commander? And I think they had designed him to be paired with Eddie here, but that would work really well with Rigoro, or any time a shield comes up. Oh... Now, it does say absorbed by the shield, so anything that goes over the shield will likely not be deflected. But still, it's a 16% uh, bonus to damage from a shield that's not meant to do damage. So, that's pretty cool. No. When using basic attacks, there's a 20% chance to grant a shield to oneself and an ally squad. Okay, so here's our support ability. I wasn't too far off. Shield factor 2400. This effect can be triggered once only in 6 seconds. 20% chance is a 1 in 5. 6 seconds is basically... It's going to push this out to about 8 or 9 seconds by the time this happens. So, on average... Still, it's a nice little defensive buff that you're going to want on the field. 2400 shield factor is going to block about two attacks, two basic attacks. And if it does line up with some of your rider or ranged commanders, it's going to help a lot in mitigating damage on the field. And counterattacks have a 20% chance to burn the enemy for three seconds, dealing damage every second damage 1200 
This effect can only be triggered once in six seconds per target. So is that... They really need to work on their phrasing. That's looking like it's going to deal a total of 3,600 damage over the three seconds. And it can only be used on each target once in six seconds. So... Yeah, okay, so you're going to want to hide him in someone that's going to get attacked. That's kind of counterintuitive, but I like the idea. As it stands right now, infantry is one of the last people attacked, and yet this is focusing on getting attacked. Deflected damage from shields. Uh, Counterattacks can burn the enemy, and if there's... If, if there's a total of 10 people, which I believe is the max right now, attacking you, you can hit this counterattack damage on all of them. Okay? Pass increases burn damage dealt to squads inflicted with HP reduction by an additional 50%. So, it doesn't state that the HP reduction has to come from him. It just says HP reduction. And right now, they've created two heroes... That reduce HP. During siege basic attacks of 20% reducing HP. You've got HP reduction. Well, I'm going to have to change up which... Uh, may have to change up which stats I look into most often. Because currently I focus on any HP buffs I can get because they're the hardest buffs to get. But now it's seen, it's becoming the mo, uh, the stat that is most often debuffed. So I have to look into some math for that. So it looks like they wanted to pair him up with Eddie, but I'm liking that he is kind of versatile on the field, so long as you can get him to be the one that's being attacked. Throw him with a Rigoro on the field, getting these shields out as much as possible. I really don't like that it's the shield. It, it needs to be a shield, but we're going to test this as soon as we get because I will be asking for this one. Let's see. Looks like Robert here is going to be the lucky roulette option. And Eddie is going to be the top commander. I imagine a lot of our bigger players are going to gun for Eddie for the first top commander round. But I'm going to ask for him. I think he could be a viable siege pair for Adut, because Lord knows she needed a solid pair. Oh, cool. The UI is a little different here. With the solid infantry buffs here, and you've got two options for Adut now. Having the 20% attack and... Put, pairing Robert with a Dut will get her to oh will be more useful because a Dut is more targeted on the field than say a Rigoro or a Thunder. Uh, okay, well before I start rambling on for way too long, I hope this was an informative video for everyone watching. I will be posting this as soon as possible. I apologize for all of the background noises. I wanted to get this video out as soon as I could this morning. It is currently 5 o'clock in the morning for me. But with that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.